Hello, and welcome to another video by EOS Repair. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you a threat that's been going around since 2012. You may have experienced it, and you may not, but you may have heard of it. There's a threat that's been going around to unsuspecting people. It's called a DNS changer malware. Uh, it's been a new threat. Uh, it has been causing some uh, some issues with millions of people around the globe. Uh, what it does is a DNS is known as a D, uh, domain name server. What it does is it's like a phone book. When you enter a web address to your computer, it uh, contacts your DNS. First one it contacts is your internet service provider. In turn, it tells your computer exactly where to go to look for the uh, website that you typed in. Computers don't understand the letters that you type, but they do understand numbers. That's why you have IP addresses that start out like 192, uh, 176, things like that, dot number, dot number, dot number. It's all different for these. A DNS server is nothing more than just a phone book. Uh, you look in your phone book, you want to look up a business phone number to call, DNS servers do the same thing for computers. What the malware does is it changes this information to fake DNS servers. They're not real or anything, they're fakes. What I'm about to show you is how to know if you are infected with this uh, malware. Some of the signs will may include uh, DNS not responding, uh, you may be going to websites that uh, look different, uh, you may not even be able to get on the internet. Most cases that I've seen, uh, you get like a DNS not responding error, which will indicate that this is going to a fake DNS server. Well, I'm going to show you how to detect to see if your computer is infected. Now keep in mind, not only does this thing infect computers, but it also infects the router. The reason for this, if it infects the router, it's going to change the information that in turn changes all the information on your network. Remember, your router and your modem provide the information that your devices need to access the internet. Basically, the DNS servers. Well, here's how you can detect. It's very simple, and I'm also going to show you where you can go in the event that your computer is infected. Now, the first thing we're going to do here, um, I'm going to show you how to check on your uh, current DNS settings. Uh, first thing you need to do, uh, if you're using Windows 7 and Windows 8, uh, for Windows 8 in particular, you just right click and the start button and you can click run. Now if you're using earlier versions like Windows 7, uh, Vista, or even uh, Windows XP, which I know many of you are still using XP, on your keyboard you want to use the Windows key, uh, which is this key right here, it has a little Windows logo on it and you want to press this key and the R. This will bring up the Windows uh, Run box, as you see here. Now, in this box, what you want to do is you want to bring up the DOS command prompt. Uh, now, if you're using XP, Vista, 7, 8, um, all of these um, are going to look similar to DOS. Uh, Windows XP has more DOS than the, uh, the later versions does because XP is the last known operating system to use DOS. But we're going to type in the word CMD and this is the command program. Uh, this will enter into DOS. Now, as you can see here, it's going to tell you the version of Windows that you're using. Uh, which I'm using 8.1, which is version 6.3. Uh, you all, you can look that up and see, but I won't go into the details. Now, the next thing you want to do 
is once you're on the command prompt, you want to type in IP config as you see here on the screen. Now, additionally, depending on which version of Windows you're using, if you're using XP and Vista, you just add the switch all. Oh. As you see here. Uh, if you're using Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, operating systems, you want to uh, put add, uh, you want to put uh, all compartments and another switch, which is a slash, ALL. -L. And what this does is it lists all the information uh, pertaining to your uh, networking information. DNS, your IP addresses, the whole works. Now, once you press enter, uh, let me show you what's, uh, what comes up. Uh, here, you're going to see information. Um, up here, you're going to see your Ethernet. So if you're using uh, a cable to go to your modem or your router, you're going to see this information um, under here. Uh, now if you're using wireless, like I am in this case, you're going to uh, go under your wireless LAN. Now what we're looking for is DNS net, uh, servers. Uh, DNS servers are called domain name servers. Um, think of them as um, the phone book. So, and these are telephone numbers. You enter your address, the DNS server tells you where to find it, and then you uh, can contact that web page. Uh, here, if you're connecting to a router, as you see here, you're going to see an IP address of that router. Now, if you're connecting directly to the modem to your internet service provider, you're going to see at least two uh, DNS servers. Because I'm just connected to a router, uh, my router only shows the one IP address. But again, if you are connecting directly to a modem, then you're going to have more than one DNS server most cases you'll see at least two. Now what you want to look for and I'm going to show you the IP addresses to look for. Now it's been known that this malware has been affecting other devices. That's any device that's connected to the network including the router. Uh, it's been known to uh, change DNS uh, addresses. Now, to know if you are infected with the malware, uh, you may notice if you're not getting on the internet, or you're going to um, odd places, or strange websites, or getting odd error messages like DNS not responding, things like that. This could be an indication that you are infected. Uh, to identify an infection, you can check to see if your DNS server numbers have been changed. Uh, in this case mine hasn't. This is what mine is supposed to do. Um, but you can check. Here is a list of known fake IPs. Uh, these are domain IP addresses that have been known to be fakes. Um, the first one here that you have is run starts at 8.255.112.0 and goes up as high as 85.255.127.255 um, that is one range uh, the other range as you see here uh, there's uh, six of them that's on here that's known uh, these are ranges if your IP address on your domain name server here is within one of these uh, IP addresses, your computer is infected. If your computer is infected, chances are 
your router and your other devices may be infected too. Now, not only does this malware change DNS server names or information, but it can also send information of keystrokes uh, to the destinations for a hacker or a thief or somebody to gather information like credit card information, bank information, uh, passwords, usernames, anything you type they can receive. Well, this concludes this video by ES Repair. Uh, if you're suspecting that you're infected or you've used this technique to determine that you are infected, uh, be sure to check. also check your router. Make sure it's not been changed or anything. You can verify the information with your internet service provider to see if, they are, if you're using the correct DNS servers. If the case is that you are infected, you can go to www.dcwg.org, which I do have it here on the screen for you. And you can go to this site. Uh, they specialize and they keep track of the uh, DNS changer malware. And what they'll do is they'll give you some links, they'll give you tips on how you can remove uh, the malware from your computer. Uh, it also informs of different antivirus software that you may use from Norton's, McAfee, Kaspersky, Trend Micro, um, Windows Defender. There are different types of software that you can get, that it will point you to that you can use to remove the malware. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.